Pro oh, there we go. Hey, guys. Good evening. How's everybody doing? Well, I'll say hey. We just came on. It'll probably take a minute for probably some will. to come on. So we'll wait on one or two people to, to come on. I'm going to do a couple quick shares. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, awesome. I, I don't even think I have my phone here <gasps> to do any quick shares. How I do you enough. survive? Well, I've been working on math. <laughs> I've been working on the math lessons tonight. Oh, okay. So... Anyway, if you are jumping on right now, please go ahead and share out and say hi to us. Also, let us know that you're there, and we will get started here in just a minute. We have been um, working on our show this evening. We are going to be talking about Disney Cruise Lines, which I'm pretty excited about. Me too. Yes. Actually, something you don't know. But this weekend, Henry and I have not, well, let me just say this. Henry and I have not been able to be together this weekend. Henry's had some things going on in Chattanooga. I had some things going on in Auburn, Alabama. Um, so there's just kind of been a lot. Hey, Bridget, thanks again for joining us. Um, but so we've been apart until about 6 o'clock this evening, I guess. I haven't seen Henry since last Thursday other than FaceTime. Um and that was spotty at times. Yeah, that was spotty at times. The convention center I was in didn't have the best uh, connection. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, so I was with my parents this weekend quite a bit. Hey, Sasha. Um, and uh, I think I talked them into going on a cruise next summer. All right. I talked them into a three-day cruise. Hey. Baby I steps, figured that's baby a good, steps. It's a good start. That's a good start. That's a great one. So, guys, as you are joining in with us, um, please go ahead and like and share and all that kind of stuff. Get the word out so everybody can join in on the conversation because these shows are the most fun when you are conversing with us and the other people who are in on the show. Just to kind of give you uh, an idea of who we are, my name is Rita and this is Henry. 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 That is who I am. Yes. yes. And um, we are a middle of a... Middle of the Magic Travel Duo, but we also have this little, go ahead, I guess I do have my phone over here, I just heard it ding. No, that might be um, mine, they're dinging. Oh, okay. But, um, uh, we are the, uh, we have a little fan page, I guess you could call it, or something like that, called A Dis Nerds, <laughs> A Dis Nerds Life, where we talk about all of our favorite things. Disney. That's what we're on right now. Yes, I know. Okay. I Sorry, I was sharing, folks. I apologize. Pay attention, pay attention. Pay attention. <clears throat> I'm trying. I'm trying to triple t uh, task real quick. But tonight we're going to talk about Disney Cruise Line. Last week we talked about Disney Cruise Line also, but tonight we are going to be talking about the differences between the two sets of ships. I say sets of ships because we're going to be uh, talking about the Disney Dream and the Fantasy, which are very similar ships or sister ships, and then we're going to talk about the Magic and the Wonder which are also sister ships. And we'll talk briefly, I do mean really briefly, about the upcoming ships that is coming with Disney Cruise Line. We don't actually really know a whole lot about it. Very, very little very I little. can find. Yeah. So <clears throat> Other than the fact there's three instead of two. Okay. Well, so Henry, since we haven't had a chance to talk, I'm just curious, and I'll put you on the spot here. He doesn't right. know I'm going to ask this. But um, anything interesting happened Disney-wise at your con convention this weekend? I got to talk to a couple people about Disney. Uh, not as many as I would have liked um, because we had you know, so many things going on. Um, but yeah, were there any Disney artists or anything there this time? No, there was not. Oh, it, was, it, was, it was kind of sad from that aspect of it. Um, but there is a show that, that we are going to go to in July that have several artists. Oh, yes. But voice actors, including Mark Farmer. Bill Farmer. Bill Farmer. I keep saying yeah. Martin. I mean, went right and next it's me. not, last time on the show, I said it was um, the voice of Belle. I said it was um, the voice, the whoever did the Little Mermaid. I can't think of her name right now. Um, but I had made a mistake. It's actually Paige O'Hara who did Belle. She'll Correct. be there. She'll be there. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to, to that trip. Um, but that's still several months out. <clears throat> but um, You didn't buy me anything? I actually didn't. And, and well, don't, don't tell our oldest daughter, but um, I was supposed to buy her stuff, and then I forgot to. What were you supposed to buy her? Oh, someone had some Hamilton stickers. So, Shh. I know. My, <laughs> I hear her walking around right now, too. <laughs> <laughs> Jody, thank you, Jody Benson. Thank you. That's like, apparently, I can only remember one of them at a time. Who knows? <laughs> I've seen them both on stage together, which was really cool. That is cool. 
Um, all right. You know, so, but if I remember um, at the end of all of this, I'll actually put up a great picture of um, Beaker and Bunsen. Bunsen. Thank I you. love the Muppets. Um, so someone did a cosplay of Beacon, Beaker, Beaker and Bunsen as a doctor and a weeping angel from Doctor Who. It's pretty um, cool. So it was really cool. And there was a fantastic beast running around. Um, he had a great outfit that he was in. So Yeah, and that was like a, he was like a full on beast. Like, full on yeah. beast. It was Probably, anything like that. Yeah. So. yeah. Did he make it? Um, did he make it? I him? didn't, didn't okay. talk to people very long. You can tell. I, at that particular time, I happened to be standing up on a stool, of, you know, putting me about 10 foot in the air. Um, and I was just talking to people way down on the ground. Why? Uh, because there wasn't enough room in our booth for four of us to stand at any given time. So it's the only place I could stand. I'm sure you enjoyed every minute of that. Okay. I'm sure I did too. So back to our show tonight. <laughs> this week has been quite a busy Disney week for me. Um, I have emails popping in right now because I have been very, very busy working on vacations. I have been planning a Disneyland vacation, which has been so much fun. I, I finalized that today. Ooh, speaking of Disneyland. Yes. Did you see the update on Adventureland? Uh, no. 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 Oh, oh. Whoa, I guess I've oh. just been out of Can touch. It, An update on Adventureland? Yeah, they're, they're, they're one little, little very, very, very small. Nothing, very small. nothing huge. Nothing um, small. Okay. Um, hold on a second. Let me pull it back up so I can actually look and reread this. Okay. Adventureland. This is cool. Um, I love Disneyland. If you've never been to Disneyland, I would highly recommend heading out to Disneyland at some point in your life. It is so worth the plane tickets. I mean, like, super worth it. Oh. The former Aladdin's Oasis is in the process of being transformed over to the Tropical Hideaway. Is it going to impact dining? You know, Walt Disney originally wanted... The Tiki I'm Room. I'm working on that. I don't know okay. that you got. Walt Disney uh, originally wanted the Tiki Room to be dining. So why not? Yes, he did, didn't he? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so that would be cool if, if his dream is coming true now, but not necessarily the Tiki Room. Well, did you find anything? Um, well, according to this, um, there we go. <laughs> do, 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 do. Obviously, I should. All right, so I'm going to read from, uh, well, the, uh, it's only that long, honey. Okay. That's all it is. Uh, former uh, Aladdin's Oasis soon be transformed into the Tropical Hideaway. New experience will soon appear along the tropical shores nestled between the Jungle Cruise and the Tiki Room. Uh, one of a kind destination. It will be a proper, popular rest stop for Adventureland locals and wary travelers light. Um, you can rub your elbows with your favorite skipper oh, so this is in like an, an exotic... Traders Market featuring well, all this? sights and this sounds, is cool, guys. Uh, flavors and tropics. So it so looks. It, you know what it reminds me of? What? It reminds me of the market over in Animal Kingdom. Okay. The eatery market. I can, yeah. I can see it being something like that. It might be a. Yeah, a but it says that you can rub elbows with jungle skippers and stuff, which tells me it's going to be an immersive experience. I know Disney is working on getting those experiences there for us. Much like, um, and I'm going to say it, much like Universal with yes. Hogwarts is and Diagon Alley where you're going to rub elbows with, I guess you could say, um, your wizards and muggles and all well, that I've, kind of stuff. And then, of course, Star Wars like Yes. Galaxy's Edge will be like that. Well, you know, I know whenever uh, Skipper Canteen opened up, that was so much fun getting to talk to Skippers who right. were, were there and helping us out and stuff. So, yeah, cool. Um, that's well, a, that's a really coming. cool announcement. Yeah. Uh, totally. I, I think totally the announcement was literally today. Well, you know, you know what else happened this weekend in the world of Disney? Mm. And it and and one of Disney my Disney Fox. <laughs> Did they? No. Okay. Not yet. Um, not yet. I mean, they're they're working on. It, I'm sure. Well, my one of my favorite attractions, when a, a great classic attraction, um, has is undergoing yes. some changes. That's right. The last yes. the last sh uh, uh, ship has sailed for. Pirates of the Caribbean. For the redheads. For the redheads. Yes. So our uh, bio bride scene um, is no longer going to be with us. I look forward to see what they are going to reimagine. It's kind of bittersweet. I think probably a good move for Disney. Controversial, I'm sure. Not really in my world. But um, but I think, you know, it'll be sad to see the classic side go. But I understand why. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. All right. So let's seriously, let's move on to our topic here tonight. As we talk about the Disney Cruise Line. If you have ever cruised on Disney Cruise Line and you want to pop in and share. Because there's a lot of different things and I'm sure that we're going to miss some stuff. 
Well, um, there's, there's tons of stuff to know. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, stuff to know, so we would love to hear your take. <clears throat> if you have a ship that you prefer over any other ship between the four that we're going to speak of, also, oh, I know, goodbye, Redhead. It's kind of sad, isn't it? I mean, it is part of our childhood, Bridget. Um, but um, please let us know what you think and uh, throw some stuff out there. This is really more about us imparting some knowledge to you. It's a little bit different kind of a show, but we do want you to interact. Definitely. Okay, cool. So, let's see. I wrote down uh, kind of the order that I wanted us to do things in. So, you have four ships. Let's go ahead and give the, some of those little facts there. Yeah. So, you originally had two ships that came out in 1998. Okay. Um, which was the... Uh, magic and the Wonder. Correct. I get sometimes I get them confused. I do, I do too. Yeah. yeah, the Magic and the Wonder. The, the, those are the two babies. Anybody out there been on either one of those, the Magic or the Wonder? So we've only been on the Dream so far, haven't yeah, we? Yeah, that's yeah. right. We were working on that though yeah. very soon. Pretty so, soon. And then you had, and I, I forgot to write down the actual year that the next two ships came along, um, which is the Dream, dream and, and the Fantasy. Fantasy. That's right. They're, they're the two. Well, they're called the dream class. You have your classic, you have your classic class, right? And then you have your dream class. We don't know what the next class is going to be, but that'll be a three ship group for that one. <clears throat> so, obviously, the first thing that you notice between the two two different classes of ships is it's the size. size. Um, the two newer ships are fifty percent larger. Uh, there's two additional decks. Um, the the lobby. Yes, it's yes. hugely different. Yeah, you can tell a big difference in the lobby, and there's also a difference in the the uh, decor. I guess you could say the the older ships are sort of the Art Nouveau, right? Yes. And then the newer ships are. are the... Oh, Tracy's been on both. Of course, Tracy is our resident uh, Disney cruise expert, and also the leader of uh, the fearless leader of Middle She's of the, the Magic Kingdom. Leader of the pack. <laughs> yes. So she can, she can answer all of the questions when it comes to all of the different ships. All right, so let's talk about the rooms. What's the difference between the rooms um, between our classic ships and our dream class? Um, the, the first thing that most people would see would be your inside staterooms. Okay. Um, on the dream class, you have a virtual porthole. Oh, yes, and um, those are very popular. I remember when they came out, the virtual porthole rooms – Actually, were more um, more, more sought after. Well, they they were charging more for a brief period of time, oh, and wow. it's just because they were in such a high demand. I mean, <clears throat> supply and demand, right? Yes. Um, and so they were actually charging more for those porthole rooms than they were for the um. I okay. Apparently, I cannot speak tonight. <laughs> well, I don't. Ocean sound very view good. rooms. Ocean view rooms. That's what they're called. <laughs> Um, a lot of the, but the, the basic layout and size of uh, most of the state rooms are very, very similar. Are they? From, from ship to ship. Okay, there are so some the things classic, that are li- the classic, little different. The classic ships aren't smaller rooms? Um, not a noticeable enough. Okay. All right. Um, you know, but I did notice, so, and there are, oh, there are a few differences with it. Obviously, we already talked about the, the virtual porthole. Um, your, um... State rooms on the dream and the fantasy. Mm-hmm. Um, also have, and this goes well to you know to, to me was that they had on demand um, on TV. So we used that a lot. We did actually <laughs> use that quite a bit because cruising is a true vacation that you can go relax at. So um, that that was a big difference between the two. But otherwise, um, just a few little. I mean, there are still details. Some of your rooms, um, your verandas are really the biggest difference. Okay. Um, smaller verandas on the originals than the, than on the dream, the dream classes. Okay. Well, I guess even though the ships are fifty percent larger on the dream classes, that just means that you kind of keep the rooms roughly the same size, which means you can put more people Correct. on on the ships. So that's cool. Awesome. Wonderful. All right. So the rooms are pretty much the same, as far as you can tell. I, you know, I didn't get to do as much research as Henry has done, and maybe you, Tracy, if you're still out there, if you're listening. Do they still have the split bathrooms in the um, on the? Um... Tracy will have to answer that. Yeah. Question. Okay. All right. Because those split <laughs> Sorry bathrooms. Sorry for just spot Tracy. Throw you out there. But... <laughs> yeah. So those split bathrooms are a really big deal, in my opinion, on the dream and the fantasy. I really enjoy those bathrooms. When... Oh, the one thing I did notice talking about splitting. Yeah. The wonder was the last one to finally fix the main bed can split into two. Oh, really? All the beds now can split into two beds. 
Really? So if you're going on a girls' weekend, you can actually split the bed into two beds. I didn't know that. I didn't either. Really? But so says the internet. Well, so says the interwebs as we do our research. <laughs> All right. Cool. All right. So let's talk about something else. Let's talk about dining because that's why everybody goes on a cruise um, and it is to eat. So we have different restaurants on the different ships. This is really kind of my drive to go on some ships that we've never been on. Okay. And that is for the dining. I super bad. Thank you. Gotta love that grammar. I super, super bad. bad. <laughs> I super want to go to Tiana's place. Okay. Yeah. So Tiana's place is on the Wonder, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. And it has a jazzy feel to it. You know, Tiana had, if you've ever seen the movie The Princess and the Frog, Tiana what, um, wanted to have a, her own restaurant, and yep. it was called Tiana's Place. So I've seen lots of pictures and heard lots of testimonies about how awesome that restaurant is. So you're looking at a Creole feel to your restaurant along with some jazz music and Tiana pops up too, which is really cool because it's like, you know, character dining. That's cool. You know, that's yeah. really cool. And I have to say this too, the pictures I've seen of Tiana at Tiana's place, I'm telling you right now, it is my favorite dress that she wears. She wears some awesome clothes, but it is by far my favorite uh, is what she's wearing the Tiana's place. So yeah. I'm really excited about that. And then there's also Triton's, which I believe is on um, the Wonder and the, uh, here I go. Okay. It's the Dream and the Fantasy, the Wonder, Wonder and the magic. magic in Triton's Place. Yes. Oh, is Laurie on here too? Laurie! Um, I just saw somebody say, hey, Laurie. How exciting. Say hi to me, Laurie. I miss you. All right. Um. So, yeah, on the, what do we have on the dream, then, and the fantasy for restaurants? Well, the Animator's Palette's on all four of them. Okay. Um, except it's different. Oh, how is it different? Um, I know. Which one? Wonder is the only one that has not updated. Okay. Um, it still has the original where you actually got to draw to where now that all the rest of them have Crush, who's interactive and stuff. I'll be honest with you. I really want to go on the Wonder before I agree. it gets rid of it. I keep hearing so. reasons why we should go on the Wonder. And you know, the Wonder is the one. Well, we'll talk about that itinerary. We'll talk about itineraries <laughs> a little bit. Yes, we need to go on the Wonder. Okay. Okay, um, okay so <clears throat> what what is it that we have though? Oh, well, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have interrupted. Animator's Palette is probably the, the most uh, well-known restaurant in all yes. of the Disney Cruise Lines. Because um, it's in original, the original form. The original that, bit was you actually went and you drew, and then it was thrown onto the screen. Well, but also, as you progress through your meal, things sort of became colorful. Like your um, your weight your weight staff was in the black and white, and the like the drawings, yeah. and then they would change their vests, and they would have the color to them, whatever it may have looked like, and then the walls would get have color added to them. Yep. Um, and as, again, as you move forward, you would end up with a completely animated type show with your own drawings. Correct. Right. And now on the other ones, you've got Crush. You have Crush. Uh, and I, and he I talks really, to you. it's really cool. I really it's enjoyed like Turtle Talk with Crush. It is. Um, I'm not being negative. Are you sure? I can tell by that tone. <laughs> I'm not being negative. If you're sitting too far away from it and the family that's sitting up near it does not interact, he moves on. Oh, okay. He's there to interact with someone. So if you've got a family who's right there next to it that's not very interactive with them, then he moves on. So like if we're a table away, we're all like, hey, crush, and he doesn't see us, then he kind of goes on. I understand. So, I understand. You know. Oh, the, see, the dream does have a split bath. Yes, I know the dream has a split bath because that is super, like, important. Oh, split bath is so important. I can't tell you. That's honestly, that's probably the biggest draw, in my opinion, that, uh, for a, the Disney cruise line because other cruise, cruise, cruise lines do not do the split bath. Um, yeah, the split bath is a big deal. It's a, especially when you talk about a family of four and you've got a teenager and the split bath, huge seller for Disney Only cruise guy line. in the family? Yep, there you go. I need to go to the bathroom every now and then. <laughs> well, anyway, okay, so you've got the animator's palette that's on all of the cruise lines, but what about, or excuse me, all of the cruise ships, but what's on the Disney Dream? 
What do you mean? The other the other restaurants. The other two are you talking about the for um yeah, the Garden Palace and um The Royal Palace. Royal Palace and, and the Enchanted, Enchanted Garden. Garden. That's it. Yes. The Royal Palace and the Enchanted Garden. So Which the Enchanted Garden, when you're talking about Tiana's quest, that's really what I was thinking it, it would probably look a lot like. Obviously a little different flair to it, but you know. So you have two you have different restaurants on all the ships. Of course all the food's gonna be wonderful. Um now, All except for the one. Do, 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 I don't have to go double check this. Um, the Wonder still has a traditional buffet. So, um, up at Cabanas, mm-hmm. um, the Dream, the Mad, the Dream, the Fantasy, and now the Magic have all changed over to that new style of the buffet. Okay. Um, to where the Wonder still has the Beach Blanket Buffet. Okay. Which is more of a traditional style buffet right. up on it. Um, so, the Wonder is still. All right, so. So we talk about how the Wonder and the um, Magic have some differences in it. And that's because back in 2013, the Magic went into dry dock and had some major upgrades. Right, it. it did. So the Wonder will have its next set, be the next one to go through uh, some dry dock updates at some point. But I think I think that will be after um, the new the new ships come out. You never know. You, you never, never know. know. Um, so one of the other neat things between uh, with it is also the um, the Dream and Fantasy have. Um, uh, have a second adult only restaurant. Okay, what? Uh, uh, Remy's. Oh yes, Remy's. Remy's. We have not eaten there. We have had the pleasure of touring Remy's. We have toured Remy's and we have ate at Apollo's. Yes, yes, and um, I, which Apollo. I highly, I highly recommend. I can't even express to you. Put the kids in the kids club, uh, or have them eat, um. A dinner, like have a room service or something like that, and then put them in the kids' club, and you head on out to Palos or Remy's for a wonderful evening. It's so worth every extra penny that you spend, and it's really go, not go, that much. Go tell the kids to go watch a movie in the movie theater and then scoot, scoot away. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> They'll be safe. It's They'll be Disney safe. It's Disney Cruise Line. <laughs> That's right. So, yeah, put them in the kids' club and go out to dinner. I do recommend mm-hmm. doing that. Um, with your significant other, if it's a girls' trip, definitely do that. If it's a girls' trip, hit the adult only lounges. Oh well, after you have dinner place. at Palo. Oh yes. <laughs> so there, there's your big difference. You've got that um, adult only restaurant. I do want to go back over to the size. Okay, go back, back on that part of it. So some people, would, you know, you're going to think that it's 50 percent larger, and yes, that means there's 50 percent more people um, on the the cruise. Um, yeah. So the um, the magic and the wonder can handle. Uh, 2,400 people to where the uh, Dream the Fancy can handle 4,100. So, you know, that's an additional um, 1,700 people. Um, that's a lot that, of people. That, that's a lot of people. But you don't you don't feel it in the crowd levels, except in a couple of potential places like getting off at Castaway Key. Yeah, yeah. The, the, There's, yeah. You, where you're, everybody's trying to still go through the same amount of ports. Um, and doing, coming to, oh, that okay. would be a really big advantage, actually, of being on How one of the been, classy trips. How expensive was it? Yeah, you're talking about Palo. So, if I remember correctly, it's thirty-five dollars per person. Sounds about right. Yes, and I do and remember Remy, Remy was seventy-five. Yeah, Remy was was much more. Now that was last year. We haven't gone on a Two cruise. In, well, I was sixteen. Well, um, <laughs> wow, really? Yeah. Okay. Woo, time flies. We, we hit the. We hit the. We're uh, about a year and a half out from our last cruise. Yeah. And so. Um, it, you know the prices may have gone up a little bit, but the last I checked, it was it was thirty five and seventy five. And if it's around, and if it's at thirty five, if even it's at forty dollars, I'd probably even go pay fifty dollars a, a, a meal for it. Um, and next time around, we'll there is a dress code. We realize the fact that there is a dress code. Yep. Um, if you, uh, gentlemen, if you do not have um, uh, nice shoes for your trip because you have no other reason to wear it other than that. They will provide you with nice shoes, um, but it is. And don't wear flip flops. Don't you can't you can't you can't come off the beach and go right into the restaurant. Um, so it is. But and it's the Remy's dress nice. code is going to be a little bit more strict. Than yes, Paolo, so. I believe Paolo was a collared shirt and uh, slacks. I would have to go back. Um, I'd have to check. Yeah. I believe that's what I was required to wear. If that one to wear, I believe Remy's will be a coat tie, coat and tie restaurant. So definitely worth it, Bridget. I hope when you go on your cruise that you get to do that. That's that's. It is. It um, is a lot of fun. You should definitely think about doing that. All don't right. Do, don't do it on animators' palette night. 
Yeah, or honestly, you can go to Animator's Palette, though, and then you can go to Palos. That's what we did. Yeah. You know, I just, you know. You know, we've been twice, and, well, we went to Palos twice. So, or, no, I'm sorry. We, Animator's Palette twice. Yeah. All right. Um, so, mm. back to the size. <laughs> sorry, oh. Jimmy Buffett. Oh, I love Jimmy Buffett, Bridget. <laughs> um all right, uh, so back to the size. I do think that's a good uh, a good reason to go on one of the classic ships is when, when you get off at Castaway Key. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And whenever you're at Castaway Key, you're talking about like 2,400 people versus yeah. 3,100. Yeah, that's a lot, that's uh, a and lot it, less. Because it can get significantly crowded um, you know, whenever you get there, especially the beaches. When you start looking at the beaches, and we talked about this a little bit last week, was that there's two beaches. Um, there's There's one... One technical beach for families and one for um, adults. But the family side is kind of split into two. One side is closer to the water slide and all that, mm-hmm. where the other one is closer uh, to the well, to the boat and um, the, uh, some of the stingrays, stingrays and all that. So yeah, we talked about that last week. Yeah. Ex- exactly. But if you're talking about only 4,100 4, people versus 2,400 means that I don't have to concern myself as much on that one. I true. Think. So, Very true. Um, All right. So ways. while we continue talking, why don't you think about what you would prefer? Would you prefer a smaller ship, like a classic ship, like the um, the Wonder and the uh, Magic? Or would you prefer one of the bigger ships, the Dream or the Fantasy? Well, because there well, are definitely advantages to well, both. We're so. going to tell you how there's no wrong, wrong answer to this. Yeah, true. True that. All right, so let's talk about entertainment. Entertainment. There are different... There's lots of differences <laughs> in that. Absolutely. So here's the deal. There are a lot of different shows on all of these different ships, and they change from time to time. They almost kind of like rotate around. Right. Because, you know, at one point, you know, the Golden Mickeys was on one show or one ship, and then it's on another ship, and so you've got all this different entertainment. And if there are specific shows that you're looking for that you want to see when you go on a Disney cruise, you need to really talk to us as travel planners because we have information to know what show is going to be on what ship. And we can kind of break that down for you. Because, for example, I mean, really the biggest thing right now is on the Disney Dream, you've got the Beauty and the Beast show, which is straight from the non-animated movie, the live action movie. Live action, yep. Yeah, so you definitely want to, uh, personally, I don't want to miss out on that show. I think that's a great show to see. But the Gold Mickeys, however, may not be on the dream at this time. And, it, you know, you may have something else. That's right. You know, um, I do believe they're still doing the show that, I can't think of the name of the one, Dream Along with Mickey, or no, that's something else. But anyway, the Dreamer show. Um, so uh, that's on the dream. I know the show, but I can't think of the name yeah. right now. Um, so they, there's all these different shows, and we've stated before that they are class act shows. Yeah, Tangled, oh, Tangled yes. over on Fantasy right now, I believe. Yeah. So these are class, I mean, they truly are Broadway-style mm-hmm. shows, and we right. talked about that last week, about how those shows are going to be very family-friendly, but Broadway quality, which is really Correct. cool. Really cool. Nobody's excluded. So you're getting some really great shows, but again, different ships, different shows. You definitely want to talk to us about that. Well, you're yeah, talking about just activities in general. Uh, the new ships both have aqueducts. The water slide? Yes. Oh, I grabbed some. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, yes, I didn't know that. Yeah. So, you know, you, you've got those guys that are that are a little different. Um, you've also got the youth areas are different. Yes. Um, the Definitely. youth area, the vibe on the dream. It's called the vibe, not vibe. 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 <laughs> Not vibe, sorry. Uh, the the vibe. Are you okay, honey? No, I'm not. Do it's you need to go weekend. to bed? Yes, I do. Okay. Um, in about thirty minutes, that's where I'll be. Okay. Uh, my voice sounds like it. It is hoarse. Yes. Uh, you know. So, um, but they the the vibe, um, on the Disney uh, on the the dream and the fantasy have their own outdoor deck. Um, with, you know, hot tub and uh, pool area that is for theirs only, that is not available on, um, uh, that while they have the vibe on, uh, the wonder and the magic, 
It just it isn't quite as large as an adult. So. Well, everything's a little bit smaller. So there are some really big differences differences in the kids clubs. Um, so let's talk about what's available on the Dream. Um, so you've got a Toy Story inside of the the kids club, which is called the uh, Oceaneers Club, and they also have the Oceaneers Lab. You have a Toy Story Toy Story Playground. We've been in there. You've gotten to kind of see that, um, but. You also, I'm sorry, did I say the dream? I think you did. Okay, so. Which one are we working on right now? The dream or the wonder? I'm Who talking about the dream. Okay. What about the dream? The but dream has. It has the Toy Story little area. Yep. Okay. But it also has the Millennium Falcon in the Star Wars area. Mm-hmm. And it also has like the, the table where Chewbacca was playing the oh, alien chess. chess. Yeah. <laughs> um, and the dream had the Disney Infinity, Infinity play area. I'm not sure if that's still there because I know Infinity is kind of going Correct. away. They may have updated that recently. And they also have that floor that lights up. Yep. And of course, one of my favorites because my oldest was such a Disney uh, um, fairy. fairy fan. They had the like, kind of like this little pixie hollow area where you can draw and and play on some computers and things like that. And it's really cool, the, the Pixie Hollow area. And then, of course, you have the Oceaneers Lab, where they kind of do some of the yeah. more organized activities and, and all that kind of stuff. Now, so you have Star Wars, like, on the Dream, right? Correct. So when you move over to the Wonder, you have Marvel. You do. Yeah. Because you still have Toy Story. Yeah. Uh, Toy Story's on both of them. Yeah. Um, but you do have, you have a Marvel superhero area mm-hmm. and the Marvel superhero academy activities. Yes. Um, you also have a frozen play area. So instead of Tinker Bell, you've got frozen. Yep. Um, you know, and then you've got a Disney junior play area also. Yeah. So instead of the infinity play area. So if you have a kid who's really into Marvel versus Star Wars, you might want to think about the wonder yep. versus the dream. So that's uh, kind of a really big difference. It, all right, and, and I'm a huge Marvel fan, obviously, since I, you know, I sell Marvel all day long. But you know, I loved walking into uh, the Dream in, in that kids area. Oh, you know, and it's one of those things back <laughs> yeah. over to whenever you, on day one when you show up, they have open houses for all this stuff. Go check it out. Yeah, as, a, um, as an adult, be, you can go. Then just be jealous that your kids get to go do it all day long. Yeah, we're Star Wars fans here. I mean, honestly, and Marvel fans. And- Yes, but I mean, here I am. I'm like wearing my Star Wars shirt and my Jedi. You are. So this is my everyday attire. This is what (laughs) I wore today, guys. This isn't what I put on for the show. So, yeah, I mean, you know, there are some really big differences that you have to think about because we do have some real, like, I mean, come on. They have a whole, um, on the Wonder, they have a whole Doctor Strange show. Kind of like on the Dream, you've got your Jedi training. Correct. So, just kind of depends on what your kid wants. Yep. Yeah. Another activity that's over on uh, the Dream and Fantasy yeah. is all the interactive um, um, artwork and midship. Oh, midship um, detective. So, yeah, midship yes, detective agency. Yes, 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 yes. So you've got all of that stuff. Um, and the Dream and Fantasy also has uh, the golf simulators. Oh, oh they, yeah. They do, cost, they do cost a little bit of money. Um, we need to, next time we go, we need I'm to. I'm doing it. Yeah, we need to do that. That'd yep. be fun. I would, it would be fun for him and funny for me. It would be fun for both of us. You would just laugh when I was doing it. I would not it. laugh. <laughs> this would be a lot of, you know, me working on, on teaching you your swing. That's right. That's right. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so we've talked about the kids clubs. We talked about the size. We talked about the dining. We talked about the entertainment. We talked about the rooms. I'm looking at my list over here. So really... This is where I personally think your biggest, as far as a want, decision. Before you get into oh, that I'm last sorry, one, I'm I got sorry. one other thing I do want to talk okay, about. Okay, go. This does not hit a whole lot of people out there, but okay. there are some of y'all that it will happen to hit, um, is concierge level. Oh, okay. So if you happen okay. to be selling on concierge, you know, there's some differences on how. Sure. Um, you know, with one of the, the biggest differences being the concierge lounge. And the Sun Deck, which is on the Dream and Fantasy. Okay. Uh, which is not available over on the Wonder and the Magic. Um, you know, it feels more like just kind of two rooms joined together. I so, you know, you're, you're talking about a much larger area strictly for the concierge. And then, you know, so. We've got to tour the concierge area. We did. And, and it's. And it, it's, it's, swanky, nice. it's nice. It's really nice. 
All right, so can I move on to my topic? Yes, you may turn and move on to the last last point. Most important topic. Where do these ships go? The itineraries. Yes, this is usually what determines what uh, cruise you're going to take, what ship you're going to go on, and all that kind of stuff. So you've got multiple itineraries out there to choose from, and they don't always all go to the same place. You can pretty much guarantee all the time that the Disney Dream is going to the Bahamas. They do your three and four night cruises, and right? And five nights. And five nights, yeah. Oh, they do the double dip in Castaway. Yes, they do the double dip. Yeah. So um, if you're looking for a quick trip, like just I said at the beginning of the show, my parents are we're finally willing to, they're willing to get on a boat with us and go <laughs> out to sea. And so they're looking at a three-day cruise. And I think, honestly, if you're very apprehensive about cruising, I think that's a great way to start. You get to yes. experience all of that. Our first one was a three-night cruise. Mm-hmm. Yes, it was. And so... Um, you get to still get to go to the Bahamas. One day at the Bahamas, one day at Castaway Key. Um, I'm getting text messages, so I'm sorry if you guys are hearing that. Um, but uh, one day at Castaway Key, and then one day at sea, one day at Bahamas, one day at, at the Five Nights. That's for the four day. That's four night. You're right. Yeah, yeah. Um, so those go to the Bahamas. Then you have the Fantasy. The Fantasy. Normally does your Caribbean cruises, your Eastern and Western. Eastern and Western seven night cruises. Seven night Caribbean cruises. Both of those, because of their size, where do they leave out of Port Canaveral, right? They, they all come out of Canaveral, yes. Yeah. They come out of Port Canaveral with some of your bigger boats. Um, excuse me, bigger ships. So you're going to be able to get to those if you are driving some somewhere fairly close mm-hmm. by, southeast. That's how we get there as we drive. You can get to it pretty quickly. It's not a bad drive at all. So, where did the other guys come from? Where did the other ones do? Okay, so you have the Disney Wonder. Yes. And the Wonder, it goes, it actually does some of the Panama Canal. That's your West Coast itinerary. Yeah, your West because Coast. Because it is the only uh, ship of the fleet that can make it to the uh, Panama, Panama Canal. Canal. Right now. Yeah. They also do the Alaskan cruises, but yes. right now, you can go on the Disney Wonder. If I'm not mistaken, you go on the Disney Wonder out of Miami. For five night cruises between now and oh, I can't even remember. But anyway, and those are your Marvel Day at Sea cruises. Yeah, I'm sure because they're not doing Alaskan cruises right now. So yeah. they're going to hang out down there, do some some um, uh, winter time cruising down there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so you can do your Marvel Day at Seas on your Disney Wonder, and those are out of Miami. Or there's some out of Miami, and there's some out of um, Galveston, I think, gotcha. Texas. But I mean, they come out of different places. Yes. But those are going to be some of your five night cruises. Now, what about the other one? What's which the What's the one that does the Atlant, uh, the transatlantic? Magic. Oh, the magic. Yeah. So if you're going to do any kind of summer European cruising, you're mm-hmm. going to be on the magic at that point. Could you imagine mm-hmm. taking a Disney cruise across? The transatlantic. Beach? It's a twelve night sh- cruise. Is it really? I think that's what I read. It's a twelve night, twelve or fourteen. Something fourteen. Like I think it's fourteen. 14. Yeah. Um, and it, yeah, you know, and, and you're at sea though, almost all the time. Uh, I think that one came out of like, I think it came out of New York. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and you did hit a port or two um, along up in uh, uh, Canada um, before you got over. And you, I stop think, in, you stop at Greenland. I was going to say Iceland and Greenland. Uh, yeah, like Iceland. One, one of those two. Yeah. Iceland's the one that's green. Okay, maybe And Greenland's the one that's lives. Okay. I don't know. Because that makes no sense. <laughs> So, which one of the cruise lines does some of your northern, like your, uh, the cruise that I want to go on to Canada? Just depends on the time. I, I think, the, mag- I think yeah, the magic, I think the magic is most of those. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So, I mean, they rotate some of them around because some of them look at, that's one of the other things I was reading on was, um, um, the magic sometimes takes over the Western Caribbean itinerary yeah. from the fantasy. And one of the benefits it has is it can fit into the port at Key West. Oh, so maybe, I'm sorry, I may have misspoke. It's the... The magic comes down for that. The wonder may be doing some of the other ones. Okay. They move them around in different places. Because they are different size ships, they can get into certain ports a little differently than others. So really, if I had to give you any advice on far as, as far as cruising is concerned, besides if you've never been on one, maybe do a shorter cruise first, um, is that think about where you want to go and then let that just choose which ship you're Correct. going to go on. Because I think that's what this is all about. It's spending time with your family. It's going to places you've never been before or visiting places again that you love and um, just choosing those ports. 
you know, because there's, there's one that goes to Aruba. I would absolutely adore going to Aruba. I don't care what ship mm-hmm. it's on, you know? Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. um, <laughs> all right. Mm-hmm. Sorry. <laughs> well, with that said, that is the end of our show. I know that that was just a lot of information and a lot of talk about Disney Cruise Line, but we can help you more specifically when you contact us at Middle of the Magic Travel. We are travel agents and we are sponsored by them. Fortunately, we could not do this show without them. And just a big, huge shout out. If you don't think that we are the travel agents that are right for you, there are many, many other travel agents through Middle of the Magic Travel that are very um, experienced and have a lot to share. So please make sure that you contact us or another agent to get your Disney cruise vacation started. And of course, we also do Disney uh, World and Disneyland Alani and Adventures by Disney. Yeah, we do a lot of stuff. We do. And re- just recently, just to throw that out there, I know this is a Dis Nerd's life, but we are also trained and certified to do Universal Studios, SeaWorld, um, Beaches, and Sandals. Sandals Beach. and Beaches just added on, yeah. Yeah, we and just Royal add- Caribbean, too. Oh, yeah, Royal Caribbean Cruises. Yeah. Okay. We, we do a we're lot of things. To, we're no, no, we are Dis Nerds. We are Dis Nerds <laughs> all day long, you know, so, you know, but we can help you out with all your vacation needs. Yes, we are getting ready to start researching Royal Caribbean ourselves. Ooh. So, can't wait. With that said, I guess that's really about it. I'd have to look at my calendar. I always forget to look at my calendar to see what next week's show is. Well, before we talk about next week's show, oh, although wow. we let okay. everyone go, I do want to remind everyone, um, as y'all here towards the end of the show, seeing things, is up in the upper right hand corner, that one up there, whatever that one is for you, the right hand corner, three little dots, click on it and follow it. Also, if you come over to YouTube, um, we have our YouTube page, Mm -hmm. Um, come over and subscribe to things over on that. Uh, The more followers we have, the more people know about us. Um, So we always appreciate uh, that stuff. So Bridget, you have a great week too. Thank you so very much. Um, And we will see, will you be with me next week? I'll be with you next week. Okay. Awesome. I think I'm only missing. I might only miss one one week this summer or this month. I'm out of town a lot, but I'll be back. Oh, quick. okay. I didn't realize. Awesome. Wonderful. So thank you again for joining us, and we hope to see you next week, eight thirty. Walt Disney World time. Y'all have a fantastic week. <laughs> Bye. Bye, guys.